and empower kids everywhere to learn why free markets and individual rights are so important. By reading these stories, your kids will- This kid needs to get punted. No offense. I'm not saying we should, you know, tell people to punt kids, but this kid in particular needs to get punted, not because he's a kid, okay? So there's nothing wrong with saying that. Hey, if you're watching and I have a bunch of receipts on me, it's because I'm taping them to me and i bought a receipt printer as you can see in the bottom left that prints out when someone gives me a sub so don't be alarmed it's just that these receipts equal monetary value that is building on me and how rich i am so the first thing we're gonna watch today someone suggested it it's called tuttle twins and it's these books that are made to teach kids more conservative values the first frame is just this kid with a big comrade hat on and a nice jar of cookies cheese, that means a production stop it vlad you know the rule if you want to regulate something go regulate the mess in your room it seems a big part about being a mom these days is helping your kids unlearn the crazy ideas they're- Yes, Peppa Pig, the king of communism. Everyone knows Peppa Pig is the epitome of communism. I mean, look at that guy. It seems more and more these days, moms think that it's cool to wear blue gem necklaces as jewelry. It's a cool thing and um, it's stylish and it's definitely not tacky. Exposed to in the world. Mom. I just found out that if I run into the TV fast enough, I'll become a cartoon. Nope, that will kill you. And it's not just- Comedy, nope, that will kill you. Exasperated mother joke, Disney Channel comedy. That's funny. That's funny joke time. And sorry I'm talking about politics. I know so many people hate it. I keep getting comments about it. Which like, if you think, if you want to comment that, maybe don't. Just go watch someone who doesn't talk about politics sometimes. I, I don't even talk about politics that much. I just don't not talk about them. But like, it's just, it's fun, okay? And people like it. So if I shouldn't talk about politics, maybe people should stop viewing the videos. ...by the media and even the school system that socialism is great. Mama, if we just get rid of Yes, the classic school system that teaches us about socialism and makes us read Karl Marx. Was I in the same middle school curriculum as this sixth grader? Which school is giving this kid Karl Marx? Socialism is when education, yes. All these successful people will finally be happy. No, honey, that just means we'll all be poor. Oh, I want to teach my kids right. But that just means we'll all be poor. Yes, of course. That that's that's a great debate to uh, to having ownership over the means of production. Is that we're just going to be poor? So hard to find age appropriate material to teach them about the principles of freedom. The blocks are the supply, and when people want them, that's demand. Is that what Dad meant when he said you're too demanding? <laughs> These truffle twins, or what are they called? Tuttle twins? They are too funny. They are just too funny. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> when my bear just in shambles. Freaking awesome joke. Luckily, I now have the Tuttle Twins to help us. The Tuttle Twins is a series of books written for freedom-loving parents that teach correct principles about free markets in clear and relatable stories. You know, clear and relatable, so opposite of socialists. What? That one just genuinely doesn't make sense. Clear and relatable? So socialists? Huh? Yeah, I don't know what makes socialism, even though this is a hammer and sickle, and that's communism, I think. What do I know? Socialists are opaque as F. But yeah, not relatable. Mom, I demand cookies. There's no more supply. Oh? So if you have offspring and don't want them supporting socialism? The miraculous pencil. The Road to Serfdom, The Tuttle Twins. These look like awful books. Two white ass kids with no lips. Come on, man. Why are we doing this? Those books have got to suck so very bad. Are your kids being brainwashed? Our children's books will help teach your kids how the world really works. I think my kids now understand more about how the free market works than most of Congress. These books need to be read by everyone ASAP. Thanks, Marcos D. from Illinois. Shield your kids with the Tuttle Twins. Anti-family, anti-freedom, socialism, Marxism, media lies, collectivism. 
Notice how every cartoon is just white people. What's the cost of not getting the books? It might cost $63 to get the books. There's a high cost to our society when these ideas are taught to children. Why? It's quite simple. Our kids become voters. Ignorant voters support laws that restrict our rights and hurt businesses. Even worse, they miss out on valuable principles that will improve their life. Yo, one moment you don't read the Tuttle Twins, the next moment you're freaking communist. Josie A. Forget five to 11 year olds. When I read these books to my kids, I learned all sorts of stuff nobody ever taught me. Now my kids and I have some awesome discussions together. Jesus. Okay, next. Fight socialist propaganda with the Tuttle Twins children's books. Look at this kid in the back. Just knows he's about to be a star. Okay, what's my line? What's my line? Kids know that we can't survive on junk food. But the school systems fills our head with junk. But the school systems fills our head with junk all the freaking time. It freaking fills our head with junk. How are we supposed to survive on junk? Kids know that we can't survive on junk food. But the school systems fills our head with junk all the time. Believe it or not, we just want to learn the principles of freedom so that we can grow up and make the world a better place. Here's the deal. We're consuming socialism. Why is every kid in all of these videos and in all the books and all the cartoons are always all white? Every single one of them is always white. Like, they're, without a doubt. Usually they at least include a little bit of diversity just to make it seem like they're not racist. Here's the deal. We're consuming socialist propaganda in our cartoons. <laughs> Someone said poggers in the chat and then someone responded and said whoever said poggers count your days <laughs> count your freaking days how are we supposed to learn when they want us to learn about slavery and the genocide of indigenous americans i know it's freaking it's wrong on the news even in our school system we're basically being brainwashed i don't want my brain to be washed for too long kids like us have not been taught about principles i don't want my brain to be washed it's a freaking awesome line. Who wrote that? They should get a raise. That's why we need to maybe teach them how to be socialists in school because girls like her don't understand what a freaking saying is. A play on words. A lot of teachers, textbooks, and media outlets avoid patriotic values like oil and water. And even if since when were oil and water patriotic values? Yeah, I abide by the value of oil. Oh, water? Yeah, I stand. I stand by water. I love water. What what kind of value? I, do I stand by the value of Gatorade? I freaking love Gatorade. What does that make me? Oh, it's a simile. Oh. And even if they try to teach us about the proper role of government, if it's too boring, we don't pay attention. Wait, what? So they're just saying that socialists, are they just saying that socialism is boring, which is why they don't teach us? So we need to talk about fun things like, huh? And even if they try to teach us about the proper role of government, if it's too boring, we don't pay attention. This is really important. Even talking about textbooks is making me sleepy. So, huh? So what they're teaching us is socialism and it's boring. So we need to talk about fun stuff like right wing propaganda. This is where our new favorite books come in. The, the Miraculous Pencil, my favorite freaking book. Little Twins is a book series written by freedom loving parents who wanted to protect their kids from socialist ideas and empower kids everywhere to learn why free markets and individual rights are so important. By reading these stories, your kids will- This kid needs to get punted, no offense. I'm not saying we should, you know, tell people to punt kids, but this kid in particular needs to get punted, not because he's a kid, okay? So there's nothing wrong with saying that. Okay, so gross to force kids to talk about politics and ads. I know it's like they're little pawns and obviously they're not going to get paid or anything and they're not going to get anything out of it. It's just like, okay, show up to this set for like a day and pretend to like spread our pop our propaganda. Pretend you like it. The importance of property rights. Ah, Freedom yes. Free market economics, the proper role of government, sound money, and more. I love how like all of this font just gets like cut off below a certain line, just like does not go anywhere. Let's be honest, most grown-ups don't even know these concepts. Hey, no kidding. I win so many of my dad's Facebook fights from what I learned from the Tuttle Twins. Girl, you do not win any of your dad's Facebook fights. Don't pretend, don't pretend you have anything to do with that. What? I'm snarky, but fair. Plus, the Tuttle Twins makes all of these patriotic values easy and fun to understand. And because the creators actually want kids to learn from these books, they're really fun to read. Over 3 million copies of the Tuttle Twins books have been sold to parents who, just like you, want their kids to learn how the world really works so they can help make it better. 3 million copies sounds nice. The 
But there are still millions of kids who don't know the principles of freedom and need to learn about it too. I'm looking at you, Dad's communist Facebook friends. Your kids need it more than most. Dude, whose dad is a communist? I wish there were more dads and dad's friends that were communist. Three millis cap. I don't see any way that they sold three million Tuttle Twins books. Why would you call it the Tuttle Twins? Here's the best part. You aren't just buying some fun kids books. You're investing in your kids' future. The more true principles we learn, the more prepared we'll be to improve the country we live in. What is that kid doing in the back? Oh, you can't even see on the screen. He's freaking stretching it out back there. Look at him. Look at him go. Sign me up. Take my money. I'm ready to make America awesome again. <laughs> when you don't want to be too on point with who you actually stand with. I want to make America awesome again. I didn't say I was a Trump supporter because this is for kids. I'm not trying to pick a side. These poor kids, dude. I mean, I, I do make the joke that I hate them and they do really piss me off right now. But like, it's not their fault. I need to know deep down that it's not their fault. But... I still want them to be punted. I still think they need to be punted across a football field. But I need to remember that they're just vessels for their annoying parents who are trying to make a buck off of fear-mongering people that their kids are going to become communists or something, even though no matter how many Tuttle Twins books they have to read, it's not going to change what they end up believing in. If you want to protect your kids from socialism, click the link to order your copies of the Tuttle Twins books today. And freedom of speech gives us the ability to ask you as many times as we want to to click that link. But we wouldn't want to be annoying. Good point. That's why we'll ask in a cute voice. Please click that link. Dude, someone's got to beat up this kid in a video game, dude. Why is it only against socialism? I don't know. I mean, it's it's fear mongering and it makes you money. So it's like, you know, that's why there's, there's not as many freaking products being sold to people who believe in communism and socialism because the whole thing isn't profiting off of people who are afraid that they're going to be hurt by these things, you know? There's one last video from the Tuttle Twins. Hey parents, kids like us have a problem and it's one that you can help solve. But most parents- Why do they all have to be kid actors? I liked making fun of the parents and then these kids, I have this weird thing where like I outwardly do want to fight them. Why are they all white? Aren't even aware the problem exists. Here's the issue. Most schools today aren't teaching young kids some really important- <sighs> The one school we're going to show is a school primarily with people of color and talk about how they're learning the wrong thing. But then we're going to cut back to our school with a bunch of white kids and talk about how we're going to teach them about the Tuttle Twins. God, they could not be more obvious about it. Here's a low income school. Schools are teaching kids the wrong things these days. Concepts like how the economy works or what our rights are or the definition of true laws. Back before you were born, schools often taught the principles of a free society. But not anymore. That's why our parents have us read The, the Tuttle, Tuttle Twins. Twins. These books teach children about economic and civic truths that we need. Why are these kids' eyes so far apart from each other? The art style is god-awful. They look like aliens. And they're so small. That we need to learn. And there's nothing else like them in the world. Each book covers... Are those the Tuttle Twins? Topic, ...helping us learn how the world really works. For example, these books teach kids things like how the free market is the key to prosperity. The key to prosperity? These books teach kids things like how the free market is the key to prosperity. The key to prosperity. For example, these books teach kids things like how the free market is the key to prosperity. <laughs> the key to prosperity. The history of the money we use. What our rights are and why we should protect Dude, them. Turn the game down on the mic. The mic is so bad. How kids can be entrepreneurs. I definitely want to be my own boss someday, and these books will help. Kids like us absolutely love these books. Ah, uh, there's the token people of color. Maybe because they don't treat us like little children. Instead, they help little us children. Learn but you are little children, dog. I'm sorry, but you are. You should be treated like a little <laughs> child. Why should we be teaching them like they need to be learning economics? When they're five years old ideas and develop critical thinking skills chances are your kids are missing look at them gaze down the camera things, who's gonna blink first in a way that's fun and enjoyable for the whole family and even better when you buy this set you also get the awesome and enjoyable for oh my gosh the whole this lady family. looks like her leg is the better, kid's leg when you buy this dude it looks like this is her leg she has like a really tiny little leg this is exactly the kind of mom i would expect to teach her kids the total twins yeah if you want to raise a free thinker you're gonna need something that teaches about freedom so, so purchase, purchase your books now. 
But be careful. Your kids will learn ideas that many adults don't even understand. <gasps> it makes for some really interesting dinner conversations. Yeah, I'd like to see one of these stupid little kids debate me. Freaking debate me, kid. What do you know about the miraculous pencil? Talk to me about the free market. Tell me about all this thing. This, this freaking stuff that you're learning. Look at this guy, ready? Hell yeah. Those kids are cute. What the hell? What's up with the record scratch? Cute, but I bet yours are cuter. And imagine how much they'll enjoy the books. So what are you waiting for? Click the link and grab your set. Yo, the Mickey Mouse Spider-Man episode is out. Click the link and grab your set. Yo, thank you to the Green Is Not Nick fans for watching this video. Please subscribe and come back next time when we read the Tuttle Twins book on stream in full at twitch.tv slash nickisnotgreen.